Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day eight of this juice feast and I'm feeling good. The anxiety and asthma that I have been struggling with the last few days has really seemed to subside and I am very grateful for that. Since there's nothing crazy to report physically, I wanted to talk to you guys about a very popular topic and one that I have been asked about quite often lately. I want to talk to you guys about weight loss on a detox. A side effect of much of detox is weight loss. But let's really talk about what weight loss is. When we're losing weight, we're actually losing waste. When we're talking about waste, remember that the body has two major types of waste to remove, digestive waste and cellular waste. Now we're all familiar with digestive waste as the byproducts of digestion and the foods that we eat. Now cellular waste is the byproducts of metabolism and every single one of our 100 trillion plus cells in our bodies eat and excrete waste every single day. When we become acidic and dehydrated from a poor diet and lifestyle, the fluids in our bodies also become acidic and dehydrated. So this cellular waste that our bodies are supposed to be removing on a daily basis eventually becomes sluggish and stops moving. Now, if we continue giving our bodies a highly congesting and mucus forming diet, then layers upon layers of this mucus congestion will build over time. This is the weight that we see creep up. And in order to lose this weight, we simply have to reverse the process in which we got those layers of mucus congestion. So if we get these layers of congestion that build up over time by eating an acidic, dehydrating diet, then we will reverse that by eating a hydrating and alkalizing diet. And we get hydration and alkalization from raw, fresh fruits and vegetables especially fruits because they are so incredibly high in electrical energy. They are the easiest food for us to digest. Remember that the body is a bunch of cells, spaces in between those cells, and two major fluids that care for all of those cells. There is blood and lymph. Blood is the body's kitchen and it brings every single cell oxygen and nutrients. And lymph is the body's sewer system. It is the fluid that removes the cellular waste away. Whenever we do start to hydrate and alkalize the body, we immediately start to see a weight loss or a waste loss. We are literally seeing this lymphatic cellular waste being removed from the body. A question I get quite often is whether someone needs to move to an all fruit diet in order to get this weight loss. And the answer is more often than not, nope. Depending on your current diet, simply moving to a more plant-based diet can be more than enough for you to see lymphatic movement and weight loss. But besides weight loss, let's talk about what else a whole food plant-based diet can do. If any of you are already familiar with Dr. Michael Greger and his team over at nutritionfacts.org, you are already familiar with the fact that medical science has shown that a whole food plant-based diet can prevent or even reverse 14 of our 15 top killers. Friends, the only killer that it doesn't prevent are accidents. So literally our top killers, including heart disease, can be prevented or reversed through a whole food plant-based diet. If that is all a whole food plant-based diet can do, literally prevent or reverse our top killers, why isn't that our default diet until proven otherwise? I want to try to shift this focus away from weight loss toward true lasting health. I know it can be really easy to focus on the scale and these numbers. And let's face it, society has conditioned us to be obsessed with those things. But now it's up to us to change that narrative. And I challenge you to start with how you look at yourself, how you speak to yourself, are you stepping on that scale every day? Are you obsessing over that number? Or are you paying more attention to how your clothes are fitting? Are you paying more attention to treating your body with respect? With the respect it deserves. Over the years, I have tried countless diet programs 
Friends, I started dieting when I was eight years old. That's not healthy. I don't recommend it. Just simply sharing my experience. But over those decades, I have tried, like I said, a number of diet programs. And I found a lot of things that temporarily worked. But as soon as you stop them, the weight comes right back. As I learned about regenerative detoxification and the power of simply hydrating and alkalizing the body, I now realize through firsthand experience how very easy it can be to lose weight and to keep it off by moving toward a more biological diet. And as humans, we are a frugivorous species, meaning we are designed to eat fruit and a lot of it. So really, the more fruit that we incorporate in our diets, the more our body wants to stabilize at its happy weight. You don't have to try for it like you do on other diets because, frankly, this isn't a diet. It's a lifestyle. The more we eat hydrating, alkalizing foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, the more our lymph will hydrate and be able to move. Eventually, that lymph will move to the kidneys. The kidneys will filter that lymph and pass it out through the urine. We should be seeing sediment in our urine. As always, friends, be checking your kidney filtration. If you're unfamiliar with kidney filtration, I do have a video on that. Uh, link in the description box below for you to check out. Well, that is it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day eight of this juice feast. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about losing weight, the mechanics of losing weight, and just how easy it can be once you move back to a more biological diet. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your health journey, please send me a message on my website at wholetox.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.